Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be jumping into the top 10 tips, beginner tips that is, that you must know going into New World. They're going to be very, very helpful tips that a lot of you guys that maybe didn't play much of the open beta or closed beta may not quite know yet. So we're going to start off with number one. You earn some very small amounts of gold when salvaging an item, and it's always better to salvage than to drop an item because you don't actually get anything from dropping an item. Obviously, with salvaging an item, you do get a few repair parts, I believe, and then also you get some gold uh, as well. So definitely that's going to be tip number one. As you are a new player, you probably don't know what's the benefits of salvaging, and all you have to do is hit or uh, you know, hold the S key on your uh, keyboard, I should say, and left click the item and hit yes. Uh, so number two we have next, if you have a ton of extra gold in New World, you can pick up town board quests that require item turn-ins. And this is for very, very fast XP. You probably wanna do this between level 20 and 25, and then just some of those really areas where you need more XP or more levels to actually continue the main quest. This is probably when you're going to want to take advantage of the town board quest altogether. And uh, like I said, you can just go straight to the training post. You can buy exactly what you need to turn in. And it seems like you're cheating at this point in time, but you do run out of gold eventually. So uh, it doesn't last too, too long. But definitely take advantage of it when you can if it's something that's very, very cheap on the trading post. We have a couple more tips, obviously, on number three now. When completing the daily mission faction quests, do the ones that you know you can do in the highest level regions or zones because that's going to scale with your daily missions bonus. So with faction quests, you get three bonuses daily. That's going to give you additional XP. And uh, you know, like I said, do those in the highest territory you can or highest zone you can because it's going to kind of scale and uh, you know it's going to be something worth definitely traveling to a higher zone for. Uh, tip number four, you can actually transfer items, by the way, between regions for a small gold fee instantly, as long as your faction owns the regions you want to transfer between. So if you own Everfall, or your faction, I should say, owns Everfall, and you also own Ebonscale Reach, you can actually go to Ebonscale Reach and transfer items from Everfall to Ebonscale Reach just for that very, very small fee. Um, and it's very easy to do so. But to do so, all you have to do is open your storage shed from inside of one of the settlements your faction owns. Use the drop-down menu to pick up or sorry to pick your storage location i should say and if you pick one of the locations that your faction owns you can withdraw or deposit from it where you are it's going to be very easy to do and like i said it's a very very useful tool definitely something you're going to want to utilize if your faction does control some territories tip number five if you run out of arrows or cartridge ammo in new world you do not have to craft more if you don't have the resources and you don't have the gold to go just craft more that's perfectly fine because guess what you can do uh you can go straight over to the faction rep that we've you know known to love in this game and you can actually buy these for five tokens per and it's very very cheap and take advantage of that like i said going to your faction rep just quickly grabbing some arrows or buying some arrows off your faction shop definitely worth doing tip number six you can respect your weapon points at any time before le weapon level 10 and this is very very important because a lot of people don't realize this and you know you can try all six abilities before you hit level 10, so you know what abilities you want to take past level 10, so you don't have to constantly, constantly respec. It's definitely worth trying some different things out in the early game, and uh, then, like I said, after level 10, it will cost Azoth to respec your weapons, which is somewhat hard to come by, depending on these, uh, you know, early levels, how much you like to fast travel and how much you're crafting with the Azoth, but uh, I do want to jump into tip number 7 now, because this kind of relates perfectly with tip number 6. Respecting your attributes or attribute points is free up until level 20. You can respec as many times as you like with no penalty. After level 20's initial respec cost, each level will cost 12 gold more than the last to respec. So it doesn't go too crazy until the higher levels, uh, and then it gets a little bit more expensive about level 60, but you're also making more money. So in reality, this isn't too bad. Uh, just keep in mind, like I said, level 20 is going to be the last chance you get. So definitely take advantage of it at level 20 to make sure you have the attributes or attributes where you want them. Tip number eight, the lighter your weight in New World, the less as off it'll actually cost you to fast travel around the world. If you need to travel somewhere and do not need to bring your heavy inventory items with you, try storing them in the storage shed before fast traveling to save on Azoth. And that's going to be one of the tips that uh, a lot of people have mentioned in the past. Uh, and it's because it's definitely the fastest way to save on Azoth or easiest way. To, I guess I should say easiest way to save on Azoth. Um, but, you know, you want to make sure to be, like I said, light as light as weight as possible when traveling or fast traveling. The one way to take advantage of this, guys, 
is to make sure to uh, you know have a full inventory when you recall to a house or recall to an inn because there you're uh, you know you're not using any Azoth and you can be as heavy as you like when you're recalling to an inn or a house. So tip number nine: the first house you buy in New World is fifty percent off. Use this discount wisely. You may decide to save up and to buy a more expensive house to make the most of this discount. The cooldown for more expensive houses is shorter than less expensive houses. So one thing to keep in mind there is you're getting a 50% discount. It may be worth buying a tier three or tier four house that is going to continue to, you know, like I said, bring more value in the long term. Um, definitely with a 50% discount. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Your first house giving you a 50% discount um, in New World. So when you buy your house, like I said, just 50% gold off. If we want to jump into tip number 10, and this one's very, very useful. Uh, so to transfer items very quickly into or out of your storage, click the small arrow beside each category of goods. If you click the category at the top right of the UI, you can keep clicking as many times as you uh, really want, and it'll throw basically everything um, you know, in there. And it, I think that's probably one of the fastest ways to do so. And I, you know, I went through and I I think the closed beta, I didn't know about this tip, and then the open beta, I did, and it was unbelievable how fast, uh, or really how fast I was missing out on just throwing my stuff into the storage shed. Um, and you know, it's just like I said, very, very easy to empty all using that arrow at the top right. So let me know if you guys think I missed any beginner tips. I'm trying to, you know, kind of cover all those beginner tips for people. Uh, I know there's so many out there. I know somebody made a great 100 plus new world tips. If you guys want to check that out, I think his name was Fusion Thunder. So Great tips there. He has a hundred different tips for you guys. If you want more advanced tips, I think he has more advanced. These are just, like I said, all of the basic ones that are beginner tips for some of the new players that didn't really get a play in the open world or, or it's not open world, but the open beta or closed beta. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.